we arrived this morning at about 8am, got to our hostel, took a nap on the hostel sofas in the living room, got checked in at 2 and then had a shower and then we've come straight out to see the opera house um, and I am sat right in front of the iconic building right now, which obviously I'll get a better view of it um, on video soon, but I just can't believe how big it is. And I only found out the other day that it was three buildings instead of like one building with three points on it. We've come to the other side of the water to get like a more zoomed out view of the opera house. It's a huge cruise ship, mostly in the way of it, but from here there's a good view. We're heading back to the hostel now um, for a rest. It was also raining, hence the frizzy hair. It's day two in Sydney and we're just having a bit of a shopping day. We found this little queue for Locatane. Lock we're going to try and win a free product. We got from Chanel. We've like combined them into just one bag. But two samples of this perfume and two little five mil samples of Micro Cream Hydra Beauty. Um, we've come to eat at the Opera House. Oh my god, the man's head's in the way anyway. But um, we waited like 20 minutes for this table and then this nice couple um, like called us over and said they're leaving so we can have their table but we've ordered some pizza and chips and some drinks and this is not my view but Stefan's view. Cheers. I think he's going to take a picture. It's still recording. What have you got to say? How does that make you feel? How much was it? Yeah, it was. It was like fourteen dollars. We've been trying to take some pictures with the opera house in the background, and I think Stefan's actually finally taken a successful picture for once. Because usually I look absolutely vile in it, and he just doesn't tell me. No, this one looks alright. I think. Hello, it's day three in Sydney and today we're gonna walk to the Chinese Garden of Friendship because I've been to a Chinese garden before and they're really really pretty so we're gonna start with that and then see what else we want to do today and um, we haven't done an awful lot yet obviously we've been to the Sydney Opera House twice and shopping. We're in the Chinese Garden of Friendship, it cost us $12 to get in each. Observatory Park 
park in Sydney and we're just looking out over the view. There's quite a lot of people here. With like their little blankets having a picnic and stuff. But sunset's not for two hours so we're not gonna catch the sunset. Plus neither of us have eaten all day and it's 5.25. Sydney is so hilly. It's such an effort. Finally got some food. We're just gonna sit and eat it on a park bench because we cannot wait. Too many bloody stairs. Hostel, showered, I'm just chilling. I'm really, really tired after today. After today, we've been walking for like six hours. And that's Stefan's bed there. And then I'm on the bottom bunk. Somebody really fidgety was on top last night, um, and he checked out. So I was like excited to not be like this in my sleep. And then somebody else has checked in today. We've gone to Woolies for something to eat tonight. Um, just been given a death stare by a man for having a camera in my hand. Maybe noodles, so we don't have to spend too much time in the kitchen. It's day four in Sydney and today we're going to see the Rocks Markets because it's a Saturday. So the markets are on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, apparently it's got like trinkets and clothing and food and gifts and stuff like that. We're like three quarters of the way there. We have 13 minutes left to walk. So I'm having to sit down because it's really, really sweaty today. Just outside the State Library, there's a lot of people taking pictures outside. because we actually didn't expect to do anything else in Sydney. The weather was really bad, it was thunder and lightning and raining and um, four people actually got struck by lightning, like 20 minute walk from our hotel, like the direction of um, the opera house. So yeah, we didn't really go out after this. We didn't go to the Blue Mountains like we planned to. However, I hope you enjoyed the Sydney vlog and what we did do. And I'm gonna start a Byron Bay vlog now. I've actually got a surf class, my first ever surf class book for tomorrow. So yeah, look out for the next one and thank you for watching this one. <laughs>